everybody. Good morning, boys and girls. Wells wanted to tell me something before we started. What? So, um, I don't want anybody to hear it. Oh, because well, why it don't was you... going to be okay. a new day for the week, so oh. I was going to tell you. Okay. You know what? Can you tell me after we're done? Well, then I'm yeah. going to forget. Okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten, week two. Um, we are going to have a lot of fun today. Um, I need to introduce you. I'm Miss Megan, and I need to introduce you to my lovely assistant. Stop that. Ooh, I'm not tech savvy. That's okay. All right. Good morning. We need to get on with our day. This is one of my daughters, and her name is Wells. 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 Tell, uh, tell everybody how old you are. Six and a half. Six and a half. What grade are you in? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Anything else you want to tell anybody? My next birthday I'll be turning seven. On her next birthday she'll be turning seven. You want to tell them anything about what's going on inside your mouth? Uh, I have a wiggly tooth. Wells has her first wiggly tooth. No, you mean two wiggly tooth. How many teeth do you have that are wiggly? Three. Three wiggly tooth. We have not lost a tooth yet, so this is very exciting. And what's showing through? No, she had two wiggly tooth. She actually has three. What's showing through? My grown-up tooth. Her grown-up tooth is showing through. She's very excited. All right, thank you very much. Who is my other helper over here? Do you want to say your name or no? Who are you? Kinsey, and I'm in my next birthday. I'm totally pulling a half. This is Kinsey, and her next birthday? I'm totally pulling a half. He's turning four and a half in the in the summertime, right? Did you want to tell them anything? And um, after my next birthday, I'm going to turn six. Uh, uh, five. five. And then I'm going to turn six. Then I'm going to turn five and a half. Then I'm going to turn six. Then I'm going to turn six. Okay. Half all my birthday. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Go have a seat. All right. Let us start our morning with our good morning song. So everybody can stand up. I'll just take your fingers out of your mouth, please. I mean, okay. I can have my ukulele. Do you need your ukulele? Mommy, no buttons in your head. Well, then you need to bend down a little bit. I don't like Mommy, how will I be doing? How will you? Can I sit down and do it then? Sure, you can sit down and do it. Then all right. I we're going to start off inside. by waving hello and seeing how everybody is. Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling mad about something? Or are you feeling tired? Tired. Sometimes Whoa, it's really hard feel, getting out of bed. Are you feeling grumpy? Are you feeling a little grumpy? Yes. I am gonna be writing a song about feelings. My my little helpers over here are gonna help me. So hopefully mommy, mommy, in the next welcome. day or so we'll have a new song about our feelings. So let's mommy, clap our hands. Can you show them how we're clapping our hands? Hello everybody. Tuning in all last week 
will notice something a little bit different. I took some advice from an art teacher who posted a new suggestion on how, a new song for that. on how to arrange our days of the our months of the year so that we can get it all in the um, I will show you. I will show you. It's the new one of those things. And she arranged them to a different Where are you? Please don't do that. That was not very nice. She isn't raising her hand. Okay, well, you don't need to tell her what to do. Okay? What do you say to your sister? I'm sorry. You're supposed to raise your hand, too. Yes, we should raise our hand if we're going to talk. I know that you're very excited about telling everybody. Would you like to tell them? What? What would you like to tell them? I Okay, we've got some more big emotions today. So fun. All right, are you going to help me? Okay. You can help me, but I need you to stop crying first. Otherwise, the boys and girls won't be able to hear our beautiful song. Okay? Mommy, but that's new. Is that what you wanted to tell them? No. Okay, please stand up. We'll get through this. You going to hold this? Okay. You want to hold my hand? You want me to lift you up? Okay. I don't want to hold that. Everybody up. Ow. Okay. Oops. Ow, I want to do it with my hand. Oh, you want to do it with your hand. All right, we're going to sing our months of the year song. Yeah, I can hold this. Nope. Right. Thank you. Here we go. Wait to it. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. I want to I wanna do it. Okay. June, July, August, and September. Back to school so we remember. October, November, and date. You're in the way. We know our months so we end the song here. We know our months so we end the song here. Your turn. Last well, time like you forgot the weather, so I'm We did forget the weather the last time. Okay, here we go. We're going to try that one more time while Wells points to the words. Okay, here we go. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August, and September. Back to school so we October, November, and December. We know our months, so we end the song here. We know our months, so we end the song here. All right, everybody can have a seat now. Oh, yeah, I didn't you had all of those. Yeah, I found another one. I found another one of those white I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Kenzie's sad because when I lifted her up, uh, I pinched underneath her armpits a little bit. Sometimes okay? that happens. Yeah. Okay. I'm not mommy. I'm oh, mommy. goodness gracious me. Okay, we're going to sing a new song today. Last week we did our cha-cha-cha for the days of the week. Can you please sit up nicely? Now we're going to learn a new days of the week song. Let's refresh what our cha-cha is. We'll do it real fast. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, cha-cha-cha. Tuesday, Wednesday, cha-cha-cha. Thursday, Friday, cha-cha-cha. Saturday, cha-cha-cha. Okay, nice job. Here we go. Now we're going to learn a new Days of the Week song. Um, and it goes like this. Days of the Week. Oh, I know that. You know this one? Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Here we go. We I know that song. Mrs. K teaches me that one. Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. There's Saturday and there's Sunday. And then there's Saturday and Sunday. Days of the week. 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 Days that's awesome. Oh, oh, a long time ago. Okay. When I awesome. first got into the school. Oh, fun. When I first got into that, that school blue class. Okay. Yes, folks. Um, Miss Sherrod teaches me that song, and I had that in green class. Awesome. 
Do you all know that song? Do some of your teachers sing that song? Let's try it one more time together. There's days of the week. Clap, clap. Days of the week. You don't have to say clap. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Help me sing. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Nice job. All right. We have a lot to figure out. Right now, I see your hand, but I need you to keep it down, okay? Because I'm going to get through some stuff first. And I see your hand, and I need you to keep it down for right now, okay? I want to do that now. All right. We are in the month of March. And we have some days that we need to fill in here because we, we just had a weekend. I did not see you all yesterday, and I did not see you the day before. The days that you don't have school are called the weekend. And the weekend is made up of the day of Saturday and the day of Sunday. So, Saturday, we need to put a number in. We're going to count first. Normally, we count after. Now, we're going to count first. Yes, well. Um, so, Saturday and Sunday both start with an S. And Ooh. they're the only S's in there. That was a great observation. Wells just said that Saturday and Sunday both start with the letter S. What song does S make? Very good. Let's and count. they're the only ones in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kinsey. Can I show you something up on that board? What? Monday? Thank you. Monday. Can you have I'll a seat? I'll show you. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Can you have a seat so the boys and girls can see? All right. Let's do our counting. Here we go. We're going to do this quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. What? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. What color is it going to be? Let's say our pattern. Red, black, black. 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 Black. I'm going to put these in because we're going to get through this a little bit faster. If Saturday was 21, what comes after 21? 22. Wells and 22. Kinsey? 22. Very good. What color is it going to be, Wells? Um, red. Red. Very good. Mm. Now we're on to today. Today is Monday. If we can't remember, I hear you. Please don't uh, uh, uh. It's very distracting. Today is Monday. If we can't figure out what day it is, then we can sing our cha-cha-cha or days of the week. Sunday is Monday. Very good. All right, Wells, what did you want to say? So, can I come up with Sure. These are all on a diagonal line. Oh, that does make a diagonal So when one comes down here, it will be all finished. Oh, that's a good observation. Okay, what comes after 22? Let's... We don't always have to go back to the beginning and start with one. We can start with, let's just say 18. Then we'll go 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. What two numbers make up a 23? Mm. A two and a three. Mm. All right. Now, before we go any farther, it may be your birthday today. And if it is your birthday today, we would like to say happy, happy birthday. birthday. What did you want to say? Mommy, I'm just going to make the things that go on the end. So we aren't there quite yet. No, well, I want to do the things on the end, but oh, well, that I, wouldn't be fair to me. You since I don't around. know how to write letters. Okay. Um, we're going to sing happy birthday if it's your birthday. So if it's your birthday... Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. If it's your birthday, I hope you have a very special day. All right, moving on. What are we doing next? Let's see. We did the welcome song, the months of the year, the calendar. We forgot to do the weather on Friday, so we need to make sure we do the weather today. So help me sing. It was probably because we had a short time. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy out today? Hmm. 
Kinsey, I'm gonna, please stop touching your lips. I know it's difficult when they're chapped. Just leave them alone. I wanna tell them what it's like at the weather. I'm gonna have you tell them what the temperature is. Aww. Okay? So, Kinsey, on the count of three, I want you both to tell me no. what the weather is like outside. No, no, no. Two, no. Stop. No. Well, what? I wanted to do the weather. I wanted to take that and show everybody and tell you them what it is all by myself and nobody else already telling them. We're going to say the weather on the count of three. Is it rainy, sunny, or snowy? One, two, three. What's it like outside? Okay, if you're going to do this, then I'm going to do it on my own. Just, I really wanted to take that and show well, everybody. We're telling everybody what the weather is and then you can show them, okay? Okay. It's snowy. We're very excited to tell you about the weather today because it's snowy. And they both want to show you that it's snowy out because it hasn't been snowy in a long time. So we're having a little bit of difficulty because they both want to be the first one to tell you about it being snowy. But I see that it's rainy in Maryland and I see that it's also cloudy elsewhere. It's also snowy somewhere else too. So. I'm going to actually end up putting this snowy in because my girls are having a difficult time and no, they both want to do it. Do the snowy in. I'm going to put the snowy in, and if you're going to have a problem with that, you're going to have to sit quietly, okay? Oh, can I put it on? What is the temperature out today? Cold. What do you think? Is Honey. it, I want to go jump into a swimming pool hot? Uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. Is it, uh -uh. is it, I need to wear shorts and a t-shirt because it's yeah. kind of warm out? Yeah. No. Is it, I need to wear long pants and long sleeves and maybe a light jacket out? No. Yeah. No. Is it's, it, oh, I need to put on my winter boots and my hat and my winter coat because it's cold out. Yeah. Yes, it is. What did you want to say? I want to tell you that. <laughs> okay. We are going to move on here. We're going to do something a little bit new today. I'm, I understand that you're upset, but right now I just need you to hold your tears in, okay? That's what I'm what? trying to do too. We're having a really rough morning today. I just today. want to do the thing I know. on the end of there. We're not there yet. Of there. Okay, sit down please. We're going to do something new today, and it's called an analogy. An analogy is trying to figure out two things that go together. So let me show you. Here is my analogy, and here is how you read it. We say, shovel is to snow as rake is to what? Hmm, let's look at our choices. I see a basket. I see a bush. I see leaves, and I see water. When we look at an analogy, these two things go together and these two things go together, but also these two things go together and these two things go together. So a shovel, what do we do with a shovel with snow? Well, what do we do with a shovel with snow? We um, shovel the snow. We use a shovel to scoop the snow, right? And maybe we can make a pile with it. So let's see, what do we think is gonna go in this spot right here? Shovel is to snow as rake is to basket? No. Mm, that doesn't really make that much sense. Shovel is to snow as rake is to bush? No. Maybe. Shovel is to snow as rake is to leaves? Yes. Let's keep going and make sure we check out all of our options. Shovel is to snow as rake is to Water? Hmm. Wells and Kinsey, I'm going to actually call in Kinsey. Kinsey, what do you think goes in the spot here? Shovel is to snow as rake is to... Uh, like leaves. That's right. Why is it, well, why is it leaves? You don't want to answer? I do, but I don't want to say my sister. Shovel is to snow because we shovel the snow just like rake rakes up the leaves and make them makes them into a pile nice job so our answer is c Mommy, i said i wanted to show you oh my God. Okay, 
sat. Please go sit down. Well, you can be the one that helps us tomorrow, okay? Uh, All right, moving on here. We need to read our morning message together. I'm sorry that that makes you feel sad. You will get to do it tomorrow, okay? Let's read our message today. Your heart feels sad. Your heart feels sad? I'm sorry that your heart feels sad, but sometimes we don't, excuse me, sometimes we don't always get what we want, right? You know what? Because this is little, and then your heart gets grumbled, but it can't all grumble and stuff, and that's what happened right now. All right, give me a hug. Well, I'm sad because I'm little than love, and whoever's bigger than love can come in there. Okay, do you want to help me with this well? well? Kinsey, you'll help me with the function. And I'm sad because I don't want to help me with this, or you want to sit and have a break? Dear boys and girls. Can you say that after me? Dear boys and girls. My turn. Today is Monday. Your turn. Today is Monday. My turn. Today is the start of a new school week. That's a long sentence. Think you can remember that? Today is the start of a new school week. Love, Miss Megan. Hmm. Hey, Kinsey. What? Wells is going to do all the capital letters, and you can do all of the endings to the sentences. Okay? No, I don't want to capital no, you on just, this. Well, you can when we get to that. It's not quite time for that, okay? All right, Wells, where do we need a capital letter? Can you tell me? Tell all the boys and girls. Where do we need a capital letter? Dear boys and girls, where's the beginning of that? We do three lines underneath the B. One, two, three, and a capital D on top. And why do we need a capital letter right here? Because it's lower case and because it's the beginning. That's right. It's the beginning of our letter. So we always start at the beginning of the letter. Capital D. Where else do we need a capital letter? Ooh, very good. That was a tricky one. Mommy, I'm tired since I didn't get a lot of sleep. You actually did get a lot of sleep. No. Cause and why does you the were M making a lot of noise and I could hear it in my bed. Why does the M need uh to be capitalized, Well, Because it's uh the name of a uh, of 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 the Asian first Asian day of the week. That's right. Capital M for the first day of the week. Capital T on today, why? Because it's the first part of a sentence. Yep, today is Monday. Today, capital T. Today is the start of a new school week. Do we need any more capital letters? These are already capitalized. Or are we done? Good job. All right, you may go have a seat. Kinsey, it's your turn to help us with the ends of the sentences. Oh. All right. Where do we need a period? An end. A sentence is a full, complete thought. No. Today is Monday. Is that one thought? Today. Today, today is Monday. Today is Monday. We need a period at the end, so we put a dot and a circle around it. That's great. Today is the start of a new school week. We need to put a period at the end of the week. Right here. And then we circle it. And then we need Mommy. one more thing. Not a period, but a comma after girls. Dear boys and girls, a comma is a little line. Boop. And three lines underneath. Oh, that's it. Thank you very much. Nice job. All right. I think it's time for another song about washing our hands. So, this is a song that I made up with my girls at school. And with all of that world right now, it's very, very important that we keep our fingers away from our mouth, away from our eyes, away from our nose. And every time we go to eat something or put something in our mouth, 
What should we do? Wash our hands. Wash our hands. So let me see your hands. Show me your hands. Show them to me. I can't. All right, we have the bottoms of our hands. Show me the bottoms. We have the tops of, hold on, Kenzie. We have the tops of our hands. We have in between our fingers. I was singing scrub the bottom. I know, we're going to do that together. Let's sing this together. Help me out. You ready? You're going to sing it. Did you wake me up? I did not wake you up. You woke up on your own. Scrub the bottom. Scrub the tops. Make lots of bubbles. Pop, pop, pop. Over and around and in between. Hands and fingernails nice and clean. Scrub the bottoms, scrub the tops. Make lots of bubbles and then you stop. Very nice job. Let's try that one more time. When we go into the bathroom to wash our hands, get your hands wet under the water. Pump some soap on. And then we sing. Scrub the bottom, just, scrub the well, top, I sing make A, B, lots of bubbles, C, pop, 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 over and around and in between, hands and fingernails nice and clean, scrub the bottom, scrub the top, make lots of bubbles and then you stop. Nice job. Okay, have a seat. Okay, we are going to move well, on to our letter sounds and letter writing. All right, my girls are gonna have their whiteboards today so that they can write on their whiteboards. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a capitalize. Okay. And let's see. Did I get the first one or the second one? You girls can each have. Did I get I the first one? Um, I want a I'm color gonna give you a brown marker so that oh, it is different from the three colors on your board. You have blue, red, and green on your board. Here you go. Oh. Is there any other color? That nope. I mommy, these match. Oh, mommy, these mommy, match. Mommy, I actually gave you a dark green right there. Mommy, these match. I don't these have match. two dark greens, they and match, I don't want mommy. you to argue about it. So mommy, I'm these match. Fun. These markers match. match. Very good. Okay, dokie. What needs to be capitalized, mommy? Here we go. The first letter that we're going to talk about is the letter. Okay. Uh, mommy, can you please move? I can't see. Ta-da. I just capitalized your A. That's easier. All right. You're still on that side. K is for... Whose name starts with K? <gasps> <gasps> Kinsey's name starts with oh, K. Oh, I was going to tell you something. Okay, it is her name, so I'm letting her tell us that it's her name. Right, what? but I wasn't going to tell her her name. What did you want to say? One of her friends' name is Kate. I think. No. Or Katie. Katie. You have a Katie, a friend whose name is Katie. There's lots and of names. You have a Katie. Katie. Now, mm -mm. Well, just a reminder, girls, 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 can you please stop talking? Thank you. Kinsey, well, let's not we, scribble on our how, board. How do we erase it? Okay, when we write our letters, sorry for the interruptions, everybody. Uh, when we write our letters, we have three lines. The sky, the what? fence, and the ground. The sky is at the top, the fence is in the middle, and the ground oh, is at the bottom. I just tried and write. we never start our letters from the um, ground. What? I just tried this and it doesn't work. Then get a different marker, please. Let's start our I'm pencils. I'm gonna make a red line. Let's start our pencils at the sky. And we make a line and go down to the ground. Bring our pencil well, back up I to the sky. Can you please stop talking? We come in uh, mommy, and well, out. Let's all try that again. Put your markers at the top, at the sky. We go down to the ground, back up to the sky, and we pull our markers in and out. Wait, uh, mommy, I didn't get to Let's all try mommy, that together. Did that make a K? Good job, kids. Put your markers at the top. And we at the sky, and we go down to the ground, put it back at the sky, and come in and out. What? I made Very the nice same job. Thing. It still shows up. It's okay. Some of these markers the are not looking mine. Right. A lowercase k starts at the sky. It's very similar to the capital letter K. We go down to the ground, 
Now instead of going back up to the sky, we go to the fence and we go in, out. Okay, try let's try that again. Put your markers at the sky. We go down to the ground, over to the fence, and go in, out. Is this a little cake? It's a very nice job. Good job. No, I Parents, I like to use the three different lines with the three different colors with the three different names because it gives the kids something visual. Wait, to Mommy, remember. I know how to make a V. Sometimes <clears throat> when they're all the same color, it, um, it gets a little confusing for them. I also like to, especially when they're starting, can I see your whiteboard for a minute, honey? Yeah. Ta-da, made a V. Especially when they're starting and if you have some of this lined paper, I really like to cover up the rest of the lines and just focus on one line at a time. Otherwise, it can get just very confusing as to where they're supposed to be. So if they just have the one line to look at, then it's easier for them to figure out where they're going. There you go. All right, what letters, what starts with K? Let's see here. We know Kinsey starts with K. K is for K, K, K. Kite. Huh? Kite. Kite. And Katie. K is for K, K. Keys. K Katie. is for soccer ball? No. What are they doing? They K are is for kick. kicking the soccer ball. K is for k -k kitten. K is for k -k is okay kitchen. Your k is for k -k koala. K is for k -k karate. And K is yeah. for k -k I'm in, I'm in the Nice job. All right. We are going to move on to the next letter. Um, yeah, I'm making my hair be fun with. Oh, right. We don't have the book, so we're just going to. All right. What comes after K? Let's scroll. My hair's Kinsey, so Kinsey, Kinsey. Shh. Let's sing our ABCs together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right. H I J K L L L says L. We start our capital L at the sky. We go down Wait, to the mommy, ground and over. This. Mommy, this is a funny me. On the back of my board, so I'm just going to. Okay. Well, we're gonna keep moving on while you do that. Put your pencils back at the sky. We go down to the ground and over. That is a capital letter L. What sound does L make? Um, oh. A lowercase L. Nice picture, kids. No, a lower... it does make a line. A what? A line. A lion? Have to always with lion starts with L. All right, let's make a lowercase L. It starts at the sky and goes down to the ground. The end. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Can you think of any words that start with an L? Hmm. <laughs> well, light, lamb, light, lion, 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 lion. What's that? Lamp, lamp. Ooh, like. What else, Kinsey? Can you think of any L words? Mm -hmm. Please don't, please don't write on the eraser. <laughs> loose. Cause I have a loose tooth. Loose tooth. Um. Oh, what do you, what do you lick? Lick a. Lollipop. Lollipop has double L's. Mommy, mommy. Anything else you can think of? I don't have an L book for this one. What? Free. I don't think I know what that word is. Free. I said free. Free? One. Uh, one starts with a W. All right, let's keep moving on here. L starts I'm awaiting all these. I think we need a little bit of movement break. So we're going to sing our head, shoulders, knees, and toes, except we're not going to touch our face. So, when we do, instead of doing eyes and ears and mouth and nose, we're just going to say head and shoulders and knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, everybody stand up. Mommy, I first want to erase this somehow. Here we go. Can I use this as an eraser? Sure. Head, shoulders, knees Wait, and toes. Wait, Mommy, I'm not knees ready. And toes. You can use head, this. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and head and shoulders and knees. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right, we are gonna move a little bit faster. Are you ready? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and head and shoulders and knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay. Are you ready for turbo speed? Get ready. Here we go. You girls ready? For what? Turbo speed. Super fast. What? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, and shoulders, and knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Woo! Good job. All right, time for some phonemic awareness, which is right over here. Why do we always okay. have to do phonemic awareness? I'm going to say two words. Oh, wait, this is not the right one. Moving on. All right, I'm gonna say a word, and you're gonna come up with a rhyme for that word. So if I said, if I said low, what could you come up with that rhymes with low? Slow. Slow. Row. Bow. Row. Bow. 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 Snow. Snow. Bow. Row. Fro. Bow. Bow. No. No. Anything else? Low. We didn't say that already. Let's try another one. I'm going to say. No. I'm going to say vine. Can you oh, come up with a rhyme for vine? vine? I just want a line. Mommy. Line. Mommy. I just want another one that. Nine. Mommy, I just want another one. No, that's not what I said. I mommy, mommy, mommy. Vine. What? I thought of the thing that we did before this one. What? Vine. Fine. Very good. All right, we're going to move a little bit faster. I'm going to say. A word and we're gonna break off the beginning of the word okay so I'm gonna say minus you're gonna say minus mm, mm, mm. minus opposite opposite ah 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 uncle uncle uh 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 island I I I animal animal ah 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 eagles eagles E, E, E. Very good. All right, get your choppers out. This time, instead of chopping out syllables, we're going to chop out sounds. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, R, O, P. And you're going to say, Rope. R, O, P. Rope. Very good. My turn. I, G. Your turn. Big. Hey, girls. Can you please help me? I'm trying to get that off there. Cause Leave hers alone, stuck. please. Uh, it's not stuck. B, E, T. Your turn. That's uh, B, E, T. I knew it wasn't a B. Beat. Word. Good job. Can you help me out with these choppers, Wells? Can you put your um, whiteboard down for me, please? Uh, G, S. Your turn. G, S. Yes. yes. Good job. T, A, uh, K. Your turn. Tuck. Uh, Good job. My turn. P Wait, mommy. Tuck. You said tuck. Yes, yeah. I did. And that's a mighty tuck. Oh, okay. A. S. Your turn. Mighty tuck. A. S. Pace. Mighty Very tuck. good. All right. Um, that's all we're going to do for this L right now. What about L? Yeah. Well, um, we're not going to do that one right now. Um, no, okay. No, I just thought of one. We're gonna do you haven't done this one before. Run through our letters real fast, and then we're going to do a song. What about one of those books? Well, what about <laughs> Victor Vito? We're going to do Victor Vito today. Here we go. We're going to go. Mommy, you we're said gonna, that, that book you would do yes, today. Yes, we are. We're going to run through our letters very quickly. Letters and sounds. Here we go. Say them with me. Letter is A. a sound is A. a. Letter is B. B sound, sound is B. B. Letter is C, sound is K. Just a reminder, when we say our sounds, don't add an uh to it. So this is not K, this is K. Letter is D, sound is D. Mommy, I just Letter is E, sound is E. Letter is F, sound is F. Letter is G, sound is G. Letter is H, sound is Letter is I, sound is I. Letter is J, sound is J. Yeah. Letter is K, sound is K. Mommy, K! K for Kinsey. You don't hey, 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 hey. Letter is L, sound is L. Letter is M, sound is M. Letter is N, sound is N. Those are really tricky because they're very similar. 
Letter is O sound is ah. Like Letter is P sound like is. Why you going to the doctor and eating food? Letter is Q doctor. sound is. Appointment. Letter is R sound is R like a dog on a chew toy going R. Letter is S sound is. Letter is T sound is. Letter is U sound is. Uh. Letter is V sound is. That one tickles my lip. Letter is W, sound, sound is, is w for me. Wells. Letter is X, sound is X. Letter is Y, sound is Y. Yeah. Letter is Z, sound is Z. All right, we are going to move on to our songs and books. I was hoping to get through a little bit more today, but we have a lot of redirecting going on. So um, I'm hoping to get through a couple more things tomorrow, more academically. But for right now, we're going to get up and move our bodies. Aww. So, aw. I wanted to read that book. We are, but we're going to do a song and I then a book. Right now. And then a song and then a book. All right. I'm going to scoot you all back. Which song can we do? Can we do the gun job? Yep. Yes. Oh, I did all the gum There we go. We song. talked about this ahead of time, and I told you we were doing the gum drop song. Yeah, oh, so, if you have a musical Victor instrument Victor and you would like to join us, well, we are not going to do first. Please do not draw on the eraser, because then when we go to erase, it gets marker on the board. So please don't draw on the eraser. Thank you. All right, Kinsey, are you going to help us? Yeah, upside down. All right, this song is about the weather. But not really. It's about things that might come out of the sky that are silly and goofy and things that I might like to eat. So, it's called If All of the Raindrops. If all of the raindrops were lemon and drop and dumb drop, oh, what world it would be. What would you do? I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. are just tuning in for the first time this week. Last Friday, I let my girls try to make a decision on, we had two books. We had this book called The Way I Feel, and we had this book to give a pig a pancake. You can move your chair closer. My girls had a very difficult time. I told them that they got to pick which book to read, and they both wanted one or the other, so they wanted different books. <clears throat> And they were able to figure out, Wells, let Kinsey read her, let us read Kinsey's book on Friday as long as we could read her book today. So I thought that was a very good compromise. So. Stop, Wells. I'm putting my chair there. No, no, no. You know what? Please go put your chair back and change my mind. This is not going to work. I'm going to put my chair You can come sit on the floor. If you give a pig a pancake. Oh, I 
my book is falling apart. I need to add some tape. If you give a pig a pancake by Laura Numeroff. Why don't you girls sit right here? No, what if you come sit in my lap? There we go. That works. If you give a pig a pancake, she will want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky. So she'll want to take a bath. Mm -mm, not while I'm reading, please. She'll ask you for some bubbles. And when you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber duck. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on and she'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So you'll have to go get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more and then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. I can't see. Shh, well, you'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. Okay, that's fine if you sit there, but please don't bump against the, the chair because then, the, then everybody that's watching is gonna get a okay? On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard and she'll want to build a tree house. So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails. When the tree house is finished, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake too. She'll want a pancake to go with it. The end. Wasn't that silly book? All right, Yay! let's sing another mommy, song. Mommy, mommy, can I, can I show you something on, on the lack of it? What? Uh, I mean, on the last page. On the last page? <laughs> She's tired, isn't she? <laughs> Why is she so tired? Look at him. He's like drinking the box. Why is she so tired? Because she had to do a ton of stuff. Yeah, that sounds like a mommy's job, huh? All right, let's sing another song. The good thing I got my ukulele. All right, we did this song on Friday, but for those of you who are tuning in, there's some back and forth on this song. It's called Victor Vito. And I'm going to sing part of it, and you're going to sing part of it. I would sing with you. You're going to sing with me? Oh, you're going to sit on my lap? That's going to be really hard on my knees, so let's not do that. All right, why don't we scoop back, girls? Yeah. I'm it goes, Victor Nito and Fred Vasco ate a Nito with Tabasco. They put it on their rice. They put it on
right, we're going to read one last book. I will get it. Do you, do you, do you want to sit in my lap? Thank you, sweetheart. Do you want to sit in my lap? I want to sit there. Oh, oh, I want you to sit in my lap. This is a really uh, great book sit. about filling our buckets. Okay, please don't lean up against the chair, okay? Because we don't want you to bump my, it. My this is a perfect spot for you, girls. My arm's behind her. So that, uh, Have you filled your bucket today? Yes. A, oh, by the way, the song that we just did was called Victor Vito, and it is a Lori Berkner song. Have you filled a bucket today? Mm. By Carol McLeod and illustrated by David Messing. Okay, we need to be quiet, okay? Okay, let me get in the right spot here. Here we go. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. That, that, like that. Invisible means you can't see it. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Your mom and dad each have a bucket. Even a dog has a bucket. Your sister and brother have a bucket. Can you put your head down a And a bit? dog has a bucket. Your, okay, shh. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. <laughs> Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Okay, well, sit, sit nicely, please. Well, can I show you some shh, more? No, time? right now. Okay. Right now, we are trying to have some good listening ears, okay? Good listening ears means that our mouths are turned off, our hands are in our laps, and we are watching the story. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full. And you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full. And they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket, and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket, and other people need you to fill theirs. So, how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. We're filling some buckets by giving hugs right now. That's being a bucket filler. And we have a mobile door that's all bucket. Yes. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that makes other people feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. What? Mommy, actually, a heart of all buckets. Your hearts are your buckets? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think you might be right. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper What's says- a bully? Somebody who's unkind to other people is a bully. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that makes others feel bad. Many bucket dippers have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. Love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here are some ideas for you. You can smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You can invite the new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher or you could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. 
There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are, and it doesn't cost any money. It money. doesn't take any time, just a minute. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your school and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. Mom, can I tell just a minute, you just a minute, just a minute. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, hmm, did I fill a bucket today? No. I hope so. Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. The end. Again, this book is called... Mommy, can I show just you? A, just a minute. When we're all done, you can show me. Have You Filled Your Bucket Today? A Guide to Daily Happiness for Kids by Carol McLeod. Boys and girls, I hope that you, excuse me just a minute, I hope that you all are bucket fillers today. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. Remember, what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always be kind. And always have fun. And always have fun. Thank you for tuning in today. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.